Step into the realm of Lumen Spiritus, the light of spirit, a channel dedicated to exploring spirituality and the esoteric. Join us on a journey of enlightenment and discovery as we delve into the mysteries of the unseen. In this video, we will explore the fascinating world of technomancy, diving into various types such as data manipulation, technological animation, electromancy, and more. Join us on a journey through the intersection of magic and technology. Remember to share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Have you ever pondered the convergence of technology and magic? Welcome to an exploration of technomancy, a fascinating practice that marries the mystic and the mechanical. In this realm, spells and circuits intertwine, blurring the line between the tangible and the ethereal. Technomancy is the art of wielding magic to manipulate technology. It's a realm where the ancient and the avant-garde dance in an intricate ballet, where data can be manipulated as easily as clay, and machines become more than mere tools. But it's not just about control, it's about understanding the essence of technology, the language of electronics, and the heartbeat of the digital world. It's about reaching out to the soul of machinery and forming a symbiotic relationship that transcends the boundaries of the physical and the metaphysical. Join us as we delve deeper into the world of technomancy, where the arcane meets the digital. To understand the present, we must first explore the past. Let's journey back to the time when the first seeds of technomancy were planted. In the days of myth and legend, there were figures who straddled the line between technology and magic. Daedalus, the mythical Greek inventor, was perhaps the first technomancer, with his ability to craft miraculous machines and devices. Similarly, the ancient Chinese alchemists, who were both scientists and mystics, sought to harness the power of nature through their intricate devices and potions. As we move forward through the ages, we find the Renaissance alchemists, who were fascinated by the idea of transformation, both spiritual and physical. They combined mysticism with the budding science of the time, much like the technomancers we see today. Their crucibles and alembics were the precursors to modern computer terminals and virtual reality headsets. The Industrial Revolution brought about a new wave of technomancy. Inventors and innovators, driven by a similar spirit that motivated the alchemists, began to create machines that seemed to possess a life of their own. The idea of imbuing life into inanimate objects, a common theme in folklore and mythology, found a new expression in this age of steam and gears. But it was the advent of the digital age that truly propelled technomancy into its modern form. The rise of the internet, the proliferation of personal computers, and the evolution of artificial intelligence have all played significant roles. Today's technomancers, often referred to as cyber witches and wizards, manipulate digital data, animate machines, control virtual reality environments, and even communicate with artificial intelligence. They are the descendants of Daedalus, the alchemists, and the inventors of yore, using their understanding of both magic and technology to explore new frontiers. They stand on the shoulders of these giants, taking up their tools and their vision to forge a path into the future. From ancient times to the digital age, technomancy has evolved, adapting to the ever-changing landscape of technology. It's a fascinating journey, a testament to the human spirit's desire to understand, control, and ultimately transcend the boundaries of the natural world. As we move forward, who knows what new forms of technomancy will emerge? Now, let's explore the practices of modern technomancy. Imagine a world where digital data dances to the tune of a technomancer, where they can infiltrate computer systems, tweak information, and command electronic devices through sheer magical prowess. This, dear listeners, is the realm of data manipulation technomancy. Then we have technological animation. With this, technomancers can breathe life into machines, controlling robots and other machinery, bending them to their will. It's like a modern-day Pinocchio story, only the puppeteer uses spells instead of strings. In the electrifying world of electromancy, technomancers can shape and direct electricity. They might unleash electrical discharges, short-circuit devices, or channel electricity for various magical purposes. Think of it as a wizard's lightning bolt, but with a technological twist. Cybernetic enhancement offers a fusion of magic and technology. Some technomancers integrate magical artifacts into their bodies, or use magic to enhance and control cybernetic implants. It's not so much about improving the human form, but rather transcending it. 
Delving into the virtual realm, some technomancers can manipulate and control virtual reality environments. They can traverse and alter digital landscapes, crafting illusions, or interacting with computer-generated worlds. It's like being Neo in the Matrix, but with a dash of Merlin. Now consider tech sensing or technopathic abilities. Here, technomancers can comprehend and interpret electronic signals, communicate with artificial intelligence, or influence technology telepathically. It's as if they're whispering to the machines. Artifact technomancy involves the use of magical artifacts to augment control over technology. These artifacts might be ancient relics with inherent magical properties that amplify the technomancer's abilities, turning trinkets into tools of power. Last but not least, we have AI interaction. Some technomancers can communicate with artificial intelligence, forging connections with sentient computer programs, or even negotiating with digital entities. It's like having a conversation with Siri, but on a much deeper, more profound level. In the hands of a technomancer, the digital world becomes a playground of limitless potential. Magic, as we know, has a dual nature. Technomancy, the magical practice that intersects with the digital world, is no different. It holds the potential for both light and dark, good and evil, based on the intentions of its practitioners. In the realm of white magic, technomancers can use their skills for the betterment of society. Think of a practitioner who uses data manipulation to expose corruption, or one who employs technological animation to aid in disaster relief. However, there is also a darker side. Black magic technomancy can be employed with malicious intentions. A technomancer might exploit virtual reality manipulation to create harmful illusions or use AI interactions to gain control over the digital environment we engage with daily, all for nefarious purposes. The potential for both benevolence and malevolence is inherent in technomancy. It's this duality that makes it a fascinating, yet potentially dangerous, form of magic. The power of technomancy, like all magic, lies not in the practice itself, but in the intentions of its practitioner. Let's delve into the infamous urban legend of the Technomancer of Tokyo. The Technomancer, known only as Kuro, was no ordinary Technomancer. He was a master of data manipulation technomancy, possessing the unnerving capability to infiltrate any system no matter how secure. The year 2005 marked a significant downturn for the Tokyo Stock Exchange, as Kuro allegedly manipulated it, leading to a severe market crash that rippled across the globe. His disruptive actions didn't end there. Fast forward to 2007, and the city of Tokyo experienced a citywide blackout. The instigator? Suspicions pointed towards Kuro, whose technopathic abilities were believed to have disrupted public services, sowing seeds of chaos and causing widespread panic among the citizens. These actions of Kuro serve as a stark reminder of the potential misuse of technomancy and pressing need to establish ethical guidelines to govern its practice. This tale of Kuro, the technomancer of Tokyo, serves as a cautionary tale about the power and potential misuse of technomancy. There is a plethora of fascinating and mind-bending topics coming to our channel, so don't forget to subscribe to Lumen Spiritus and hit the notification bell for even more captivating mysteries. Let us know which topic you'd like us to explore next.